guys, so this video is actually a throwback video. I was going through our hard drive and I realized that I never posted this video. It's kind of a overview of all the products we used on the Trimaran and liked or didn't like. So I hope you guys enjoy. Maybe it's helpful, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Also, all the links to the products that we liked will be in the description below. Are we affiliating these things? Yeah, they're affiliate links. Sweet. So if you do buy them, make sure you use our affiliate links. It kicks us a few cents, I think. Or at least click the shit out of them. Yeah. <laughs> this person said, I paid $960 to poop in a bucket. <laughs> Hey Fry! So if you can see, we both have haircuts. Mostly you can see Spencer's. <laughs> and we're cleaning, and you know what that means. The in-laws are coming to town. We have to pretend not to be dirty people. Which is hard, because we are. Fries. My parents came to visit us in Port Townsend and they did so because they wanted to see our life aboard but also because we had some things that in the cruise up to um, Port McNeil we realized we didn't need on the boat and didn't work very well on the boat and then there were things that we needed and so we figured we'd kind of let you know some of the products that worked really well and that you should totally get and some of the products that were horrible and you should never buy. <laughs> you should avoid those. And also, we're not sponsored by any of the shit, so it's all of our own. So, I think that first, um, we should go over the things that worked really well. The cat. The cat worked really well. <laughs> we're thinking about picking up another one. Okay, so here are the things that we really liked on board. The Garmin, which we had the 44CV version, and that worked really well for us. However, we wanted to upgrade to get AIS, so we bought a nicer VHF, because we needed a better one of those. And then we went down a rabbit hole of different electronics and now we have a nicer Garmin that talks to the IS and now we can see the chips. Yeah, which really if we would have kind of researched it a little bit better, it wasn't that much more expensive than just than what we bought. It was I think $250 more to buy that nicer Garmin than the one that we bought that was the cheapest one. Yeah, so. it's pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, so we But now we have backup GPS, which is not bad because we don't know how to use paper shirts. Yes. Don't flame us, we know how to use them, we just don't like to. Okay, we don't know how to use them, but we can figure it out. <laughs> Binoculars. Binoculars were suggested by Fatty Goodlander, and we've been using them, they're great. Also the anemometer, which I really love, but I don't like to use all the time, especially if it's really windy because it just scares me, so. But I do really like it. Uh, our inverter slash solar electrical system has been awesome. We don't have any way to charge other than our solar panels. The 400 watts of solar with the 4000 watt inverter and the four T105 golf cart batteries have been sufficient to do anything that we want. Including and not limited to hair straightening, making popcorn, running a grinder, running a jigsaw. Uh, also, it's been really handy having an ample supply of Rainier on board. The Avon dinghy that we bought. Uh, that has been great and it's really awesome to have an inflatable that large because nobody gets wet. And also ours is a hard, it's a rigid inflatable and so the having the hard bottom is really nice for dragging up on the beaches. Okay, so here are the bad things, the things that we freaking hated <laughs> on the, I was just we freaking hated it. myself. <laughs> we freaking hated it so much you guys. Whaler pumps, the tippy toe style ones, they don't have a diaphragm, they got like a little piston that goes in the O-ring and they leak like a sieve. Don't buy tippy toe pumps. Never. Off, Off the boat. boat! Except for they're still on here. No, they're on the boat. They're gonna stay on the boat. They're gonna be back up and they get some nice uh, whaler. Oh, why am I buying whaler anymore? Okay, they're gonna get some nice new pumps, some diaphragm style ones. Uh, the other thing that we have really been unhappy with, which I think is the biggest surprise to us, is the composting head. Everyone says you're gonna love it. They're full of shit. It's awful. The composting head has- The holes. Yeah, I understand the holes. There's numerous issues in the design of the composting head. We have a nature's head. Uh, there's a flap that's to conceal the solids that fold down. It's really dumb. It should be on top so it actually seals. So when it's on the bottom, it just lets fluid flow down into this solid area. In the front, where urine is diverted to, there are two tiny holes. And if you're a person that has a moderate to high flow, it ends up just spraying everywhere. 
Also, they say that you can go like three to four weeks without changing it out and that it just smells like dirt. It's definitely not dirt, I'll tell you that. That's not true. That is not true. <laughs> we have had a um, sea head. Love the sea head. On our last, like one of our last boats, and that is definitely the one we would go with if we had the choice and had the time to get one. Oh, one more complaint about the nature's head that the um, the tilling device doesn't get far enough down. It leaves about an mm, inch and a half, two inches of media that never gets tilled in. And so you're just kind of flopping around a hot mess. So now we will go over the stuff that after the shakedown cruise, we really realize we needed or we needed to remedy or just really really wanted yeah <laughs> xm radio you gotta get it if you're cruising otherwise you're gonna hear me singing all the time yeah that was something that we were really excited to get ais we didn't need to get it but we bought enough components where it made sense to spend the extra money to make it happen yes and i'm really glad that we did because what we've been hearing now is if we do want to head south, like towards California, that fog is a major issue and we have to have radar, which we don't have radar. And so AIS will definitely put both of our minds at ease. It's a little ghetto radar for commercial vessels. Yeah. And I mean, when we turned it on, I was like, holy shit, is this how people have been sailing for it was the last really nice. years? That's a rip off. <laughs> yeah, you guys been lying to us. Like, yeah. You guys don't need it. Like, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I don't think I need it, but it's pretty cool. For every rich yachter out there that's like, we're on the same trip. No, we're not. <laughs> we're it's, a, not. it's a little different. <laughs> a sun shower. So the shower that we have right now is a foot pump shower. And the pressure is lost really quickly, for me at least. So I don't need shower. I wanted to get a uh, hanging sun shower, so we ordered another one of those. And redundancy is nice. A little backup to my shower. Yes. It's fine. Oh, also, we're going to put links to all of these things in the description below. Or our favorite things. We're not going to link our the shitty things. And so that you can find out for yourself or go buy one. <laughs> Thanks for checking the video out guys. If you enjoy the video, please make sure you subscribe. You can do that by signing in and clicking the little bell thing so you get notifications. We'd also like to thank, uh, what's the dude's name? Abram Ruchkowski. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But thanks for your support, we really appreciate it. Also, we will make an updated version of what you need to sail. Or shit we liked. Or shit we liked on Flapjack Octopus um, in the next coming weeks. And it's probably way different than the shit we liked in Trimaran. Probably. <laughs> So really, this video was not helpful. <laughs> I hope this video could be helpful. All right, bye, Preston. Bye.